Hi, my name is Akaran, and welcome to my podcast, The Greatest Conspiracy of All Time. Bum, 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 bum. So what is the greatest conspiracy of all time? The biggest, deepest, and oldest conspiracy on earth is not the plan to control all the wealth or the world's economy or to control political power or to control the masses and keep the masses ignorant so that they'll keep working in the factory and slaving away for the man. The greatest conspiracy is not religious or financial. The greatest conspiracy is not governmental or the cover-up of secret government interactions with ETs and hiding spaceships. The greatest conspiracy is not the creation of wars to profit financially or politically or gain international control or power. The greatest conspiracy is not the planned destruction of the World Trade Center to instill fear and obedience and justify invasions on foreign lands and anti-terrorism agendas and martial law. Finally, the grandest conspiracy is not, I repeat, not the latest, greatest of trying to control the world economy and brainwash people into compliance to... Uh, uh, or thin the population, or limit travel to create international suspicion, or fear, or illness, and death, and uh, instigated by other countries, supposedly by supposed global, quote-unquote, pandemics, or negatively affect the population with electromagnetic frequencies, or technologies to destroy all life with global warming, etc., freaking, etc. No, 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 no! All of those conspiracies are just ignorant humans fighting over a supposed limited amount of resources and people who feel powerless trying to experience at least a temporary feeling of empowerment or a temporary feeling of connection uh, to prosperity or to God or to source or to temporary feel safe. All of that is just the actions of scared and unenlightened and unaware, uneducated, ignorant people who feel disconnected from source, from God, and from themselves, and from their own guidance, and disconnected from their true, unlimited power to create whatever they want. It's just people who, because they feel disconnected from source, from God, from creation, from their own power to create whatever they want, and who feel disconnected from who they truly are, bought into the lie that they are somehow unworthy or faulty or sinful or evil in some way. They bought into the lie that this is a planet and a universe of lack and assertion and limitation that is controlled by some insecure overlord who controls everyone's fate and they must prove their worth to this God to deserve his favor or controlled by political forces or financial forces or secret organizations. All these ignorant, limited, negative beliefs that any of us are faulty in some way or being controlled in some way. Well, that is the greatest negative conspiracy which has created all of the other conspiracies. The belief that we are limited and faulty and sinful and that we are powerless and victims and being controlled by forces and people and forces can actually control us against our will. And there is some sort of petty, jealous, envious God that we must bow down to and prove our worth to and be saved by and we're not... And, and the greatest conspiracy is not that we, you know is that we are not infinite and immortal. And we need God and other people to create what we want. And we don't have the personal power to create what we want. So that's the negative conspiracy. All of that is the grandest and most dastardly conspiracy of all the conspiracies. But as grand and super villainous as all those conspiracies are, there is a conspiracy that is much grander in scope. And all those other ones are pale in comparison. The greatest conspiracy is not that there are forces trying to keep 
you from getting what you want. No, the greatest conspiracy of them all is that the entire universe is conspiring to help you get absolutely 100% everything that you want. The grandest conspiracy is that God, Goddess, Source, the universe, all that is, is a completely unconditionally loving force of complete unlimited abundance who wants you to be, do, and have everything you want and is putting every single cooperative piece of the puzzle in place for you, for all of your dreams to come true and have absolutely 100% everything that you want. And the only thing keeping you from being, doing, and having everything you want and making all your dreams come true is you. Not evil forces trying to keep you from getting what you want. There is no devil or demonic evil force or government or political polit politician or political force or police force or military force or spiritual force or human force or anyone or anything that has the power to assert their will upon you and keep you from getting what you want. Because this is not a planet of assertion. And no one and no thing can assert their will upon you without you inviting that upon you on some vibrational level. Because this is a planet and universe of attraction, not assertion. This is a completely unconditional universe that does not ever judge any of your desires as being inappropriate or sinful or wrong in any way. That is the greatest conspiracy. The entire universe is conspiring for you, not against you. The entire universe is conspiring to help you get everything that you want. This is a universe and planet of infinite abundance, not limitation. This is a universe of complete allowance and honor and respect for who and what you truly are, which is God. You are God's source in a human body living on the leading edge of creation. You are evolving. You are literally evolving this planet with your desires. And as you move towards your desires and create those desires into physical reality, the great conspiracy is not that you are faulty in some way or sinful in some sort of way. The great conspiracy is that you are perfect in every way. You're already enlightened. You're already prosperous. You're already awesome. You're already beautiful. You're already magnificent. The great conspiracy is not that you are limited and mortal and you must prove your worth to be granted immortality. Nay, niet. The great conspiracy is that you are completely unlimited in every way and you are completely immortal. You have always existed. You always will exist and you can never die. And because you are, are immortal and can never die, that means you never ever get anything done. Your adventure of creation never, ever ends. And because your adventure of creation never ends, that means you can't ever get anything wrong. You are, you are your only judge. Your only competition is with yourself. You're the only one that can judge yourself. No one else can, really. There is no such thing as a judging God or judging force that you have to prove your worth to. Your worthiness has never, ever, 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 ever been in question. Your worthiness and or unworthiness is not something that Source, God, the universe, ever even considers. Source only and always ever sees your awesome, perfect magnificence and never, ever, 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 ever sees any faults, ever. As far as source is concerned, there is no such thing as false. There's no such thing as anything going wrong. There's no such thing as good and bad. No one has ever, 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 ever gotten anything wrong. Not even any warlord or tyrannical ruler or terrorist or murderer or 
serial killer or rapist or child molester, etc., freaking etc., ever got it wrong and source God, Goddess, the universe, all that is has never ever judged any of their behavior as being wrong or evil or sinful because those things don't exist. Because again, this is a planet and a universe and a creation of attraction, not assertion. And every alleged victim attracted their perpetrator and attracted that situation where they felt victimized. Every abused or killed person attracted that experience and attracted the abuser and the killer, with no exceptions. They did not necessarily attract it consciously, but nevertheless, they attracted it based on how they were thinking and how they were vibrating. People who believe they are powerless victims attract situations where they are victimized and feel even more powerless, which proves to them that their belief is true. The people who believe they are empowered creators of their own realities and can create whatever they want create more self-empowering situations that prove that that belief that they can create whatever they want is absolutely true. Whatever you believe, positive or negative, limited or abundant, the universe will say, your wish is your command. And they will, and it will give you whatever you believe and prove to you that that belief is true. This is a planet, a universe of attraction. And you will always get more of whatever you're thinking about. And that is the greatest conspiracy of them all. The entire universe will unconditionally give you more of whatever you are focused upon, positive or negative, whether you want it or not. If you're thinking about it and focused on it, the universe will gladly and unconditionally give you more of it. That's how utterly and completely powerful you are. You're God. So the universe says, okay, whatever God says goes. And remember, all of those negative, limited conspiracies and control games and power games that most people on planet Earth play, well, if you continue to focus on those games of limitation and control so that you can feel sort of like a drug, a temporary feeling of feeling powerful, well, you know, just because you're fighting the system, as it were, well, you'll continue to create and attract those control games in your life. If you continue to play the victim game and the I am powerless and I'm helpless game and their out to get me game and the lack and poverty game, then you will continue to create and attract those games in your life. And they are not any fun, but if you'd prefer to play a much more fun game, and if you'd prefer a much more fun conspiracy, then I recommend letting the universe conspire for you to give you everything you want unconditionally. That means without conditions. That means you don't have to prove anything to anyone to get what you want. You don't have to be a hard worker and prove your virtuousness and, and that is the grand conspiracy the grandest conspiracy of them all is that this is a planet and universe and creation of unlimited abundance and well-being and all of creation 100% has your back all of creation 100% unconditionally wants you to be do and have whatever you want all of creation 100% unconditionally wants to help you make all of your dreams come true. And all you have to do is ask. Ask and you shall receive. And the universe and creation says your wish is your command. And then all you have to do next is just allow. Just surrender. Allow the blessings to flow to you. Without resisting that infinite abundance of everything that you desire by not doing old-fashioned things like trying to prove your worth, prove your virtuousness, which just blocks the flow of abundance that the universe is trying to shower you with. Source, God, Goddess, all that is is trying to shower you with. The universe will not and cannot 
assert its infinite abundance and blessings upon you if you are not a cooperative element and instead you are playing the resistant game of prove my worth and I'm not good enough I'm not, and I'm unworthy or I'm powerless or they're out to get me, etc. Keep playing the poor me victim game I'm powerless and I'm unworthy and I'm not good enough game and you'll just keep creating those realities. Or if you keep playing the I am 100% fully empowered and I am totally awesome and I'm immortal and I'm talented and I'm successful and I'm abundant and I'm rich and I'm perfect and I'm having fun uh, and I'm healthy and I'm happy etc etc game then that will be your reality and absolutely every day of your life will be a non-stop joyful fun loving abundant happy healthy wealthy magical and exciting adventure so my friends go out there and enjoy playing the fun conspiracy where the entire universe wants you to be do and have whatever you want and make all your dreams come true hope you enjoyed this podcast if you got something from it please share it with your friends bless them with these amazing teachings come visit me at zakiron.com for m more self-empowering videos and audios and podcasts and books and products and coaching and support to help you be become a conscious deliberate creator of your, your reality so you can create whatever you want in your life so thanks again for watching this video uh, or listening to this podcast and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation and of course remember to make life a holiday 